Now to the United States, because voters are going to the polls in New Hampshire in the primaries tonight for their choice to select the Republican nominee for then the presidential election. The Trump is way ahead of the one remaining opponent in the polls, former UN chief Nikki Haley, and there's every chance that she'll pull out if she doesn't pull a result out of the bag tonight. Joining us in the studio, live good friend of the show, Greg Swenson, the Republicans' overseas voice piece. Greg, um, I'm going to go all American on you, Greggy. This is a slam dunk for Trump, isn't it? It looks that way, yeah, unless there's some outrageous change or extremely high turnout, which I doubt. Uh, that could help Nikki Haley. But well, Haley says we can we can still win in New Hampshire. It's, it's not impossible. It, it, it's, it's a real stretch. And, and also, the, the, the trend is toward Trump. It's not just that he's up 18, 20 points in the real clear politics average. It's that it's trending higher. There's a poll that came out at 27. There's one at 22. And the, the lowest one, or the best one for Haley, was 18. So the, the, the movement is toward Trump right now. So I, I, it'd be a real challenge. Can you explain for anyone who isn't as familiar with the system in the <laughs> I know States, what she's going to say. What's um, the primary? No, well, just, yeah. How significant is the New Hampshire primary? <clears throat> It's, it's always been significant because it's the first primary. It's the second election after the Iowa caucus. What is so a primary, though? A primary is just a, a, a party election for the nomination, for the mm -hmm. candidate. So in some states, you have to be a registered Republican to vote in the Republican primary. In some, like New Hampshire, you can, you can cross over. So Democrats can vote in, oh. in the Republican side oh. and independents. And New Hampshire is 50 percent independent or almost 50. So... So that's where Nikki Haley might have an advantage. She does very well. Most of her support is not from Republicans. She's only polling at 25 in New Hampshire with Republicans. She's polling at 16 with people who identify as conservatives. But where her support comes from is independents and Democrats that are crossing over. So that, that's her lane right now. It's probably not going to work because Trump is overwhelmingly favored by conservatives. So each state has a, as I believe it, we had it explained to the yeah. day, in November there's a big conference and whoever's got the most delegates and you win delegates by winning a state. Can you put into to, to words, Greg, and I don't know because we haven't spoken for a while where you are on Trump, yeah. but I mean this is extraordinary. He was almost to me dead and gone yeah. after the midterms, right? That's the right. candidates he put up were, were trounced. Right. Then... Dodgy Joe, as I call him, or old Joe, yeah. they all decided to start, you know, indicting him and, and, sure. and being accused of left-right. And I'm not, again, it's not our position. Yeah. Yeah. Every time he gets indicted and every time he stands up and says it's a con, and he's... I mean, his there's every con. chance he'll win the next presidency, yeah. isn't there? And, and it really, in many ways, this was a plan, kind of a psyop by the Democrats. They thought that Trump is the only one who could lose, especially to Biden. So... They want Trump to be the nominee. They want he's, it. He's the most vulnerable of, of the candidates. Nikki Haley would beat Biden by 10 points. I think DeSantis would have beat, beat him more comfortably than, than Trump is polling right now. Granted, Trump is slightly ahead in the polls, but the Democrats wanted him. So, so those indictments really helped Trump. It's totally correlated. You look at, you know, DeSantis and, Tr and uh, Trump were basically tied. But, I mean, our, he was our, dreadful, man. He was wooden. He was but, terrible, yeah, DeSantis. Yeah, and, and, you know, I've, I think that the media ran with that. I've met him a few times. He doesn't have the Trump personal, no. personality. The, Nobody does. But he won by 22 points in Florida. So what? he didn't change dramatically. Great from, article in the mail by Andrew Neal this morning said that he's gone, <laughs> that he just didn't have what it takes. It, it's... I would I would argue that if you look at what he did in Florida, a purple state that, mm. that you know used to be a, a, a swing state, and Trump won it by three and a half points in 2020, and DeSantis personality flaws and all, which I think again are exaggerated, he won by 20 points okay. mm. in Florida, and he won every metric, and so he, he had it, and he was that's why he was tied with Trump. But look at the numbers right before the Mar-a-Lago raid. Trump was up nine points over DeSantis the week after, 39. And then you had the indictments, same exact thing happened. Trump went from 45 to 60. That all came from DeSantis. Mm -hmm. That was because of the Alvin Bragg indictment and the subsequent indictments. Just final thing. We're going to be live in New Hampshire tomorrow to sort we of dissect pretty, exactly what happens. Yeah. Greg, what do you think is sort mm -hmm. of... What are the ingredients to Trump's success? Well, let's start with the indictments. He, he has managed to, to get some enthusiasm in the party... Because I mean, that's a gone... crazy sentence, isn't I know, it? What's, it really the, what's is. the recipe to success? And the first thing we're saying is indictment. Because, <laughs> I, know. And, and, I mean, because, that, you're right, Rosie. Because like, that, that, that witch hunt, that weaponization of the justice system,
people people look at it and say that is really unfair. Mm. I mean, the Russia collusion hoax was bad enough in 2016 and 17, fabricated by the Hillary Clinton campaign. People are mad about that. Right. Very Before, quickly, two questions. Yeah. Love to have you all morning. Does Trump win the Republican nomination? Without a doubt. Does he beat Joe Biden? Probably. I can't believe it. But, what but a year not, it's going to be. Not definitely. Greg, don't no, don't don't yeah. keep your phone off. Keep it on. We're going to have a hell of a <laughs> year. It's quarter to seven, mate. He'll be back. Thanks to Greg Stewart.